Hey what's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you how you can play your local media on your Roku TV. Alright, let's get into it. So we know Roku TV as a smart TV platform that is usually used to stream content from online sources and streaming services such as YouTube, Netflix, Disney, Plex, Tubi, Pluto, Peacock, Apple TV and so many other streaming services. So these online services are usually subscription based so you have to pay a monthly fee to access them and those that are free are usually sponsored by ads however if you have some personal media that you have stored on your computer hard drive on a computer somewhere or on a flash disk or on a media streaming server on your local network you can actually stream your local media on your Roku TV and the way that you do that is predominantly through the Roku media player so Roku media player here is a Roku media media software that you can use to play uh, your personal media. You can play your personal media from a USB drive or an external hard drive or a network attached device or NAS drive or actually if you have media server installed on a computer on the network for example if you have Plex or Kodi or Jellyfin you can actually stream your content locally over Wi-Fi or wired network for free on your smart TV on Roku TV you don't necessarily need internet here because the streaming happens over Wi-Fi on your local network no internet required whatsoever all right so here I have some content that I've stored on my flash disk and the Roku media player automatically detects my USB drive uh, keep in mind here that if you're going to use the USB drive it has to be on a Roku smart TV not a Roku streaming stick because the Roku streaming stick doesn't have a USB airport where you can plug in your USB drive so that is something to take note of so you can also make sure that the Roku media player can automatically detect your USB drive in the settings usually that's the default but to just be sure you can uh, go to settings here and come to system then you can come to USB media here and then make sure that uh, Roku Media Player is checked where it says a USB media device is inserted, Roku Media Player will be launched. So that is the default behavior. Every time you insert a USB drive, it will automatically be detected and be opened in the Roku Media Player here. All right, so you have different media sources that Roku can choose from. It can choose from a USB drive as uh, I have one already inserted on my smart TV, on my TCL Roku TV. And then you can also have a media server streaming content to your smart TV. So you can install Plex or Jellyfin or Kodi on a computer on your network and it automatically be detected by Roku and you can stream it to your computer. So if you select the USB flash disk here you just navigate through the folders that have the media that you want to consume and that is movies music photos videos or whatever that you uh, have and you know when you select a specific file it automatically start playing on your computer as if you're really streaming uh, on the internet or as if it's playing on like uh, the old school DVD players so that's really really awesome no buffering whatsoever so that's the beauty about that right when it comes to music same thing just uh, select the song that you want to play and it will automatically start playing I love using uh, USB flash disks and also external hard drive. Just make sure that your flash disk is formatted to a compatible file system. Uh, to be safe, you should format it as FAT32, but you can also uh, format it as NTFS. It will be detected on your Roku TV. So if you don't choose to use a USB drive, you can also stream your content from uh, a media server connected on your network. You have to just make sure that the media server that you use is DLNA compliance. So DLNA in full means Digital Living Network Alliance and it is a protocol or standard that is used to help devices on the network share media. So Roku definitely supports DNLA and it can stream content from any DNLA compatible home media server. There are a number of DLNA compliant media servers and that includes uh, Plex media server, Kodi, you 
have Jellyfin, you have MB and uh, a number of others. Of course, the biggest names here in the market are Plex and Cody, but you can choose any other DLNA compliant server. You have to make sure that DLNA is enabled in the settings of your media server so that Roku can automatically talk to it and uh, you know just pick up all the media on the network. And also make sure that the media server that you choose to install on your network is connected to the same network as your uh, smart TV. Right, so you can choose to connect the media server and the smart TV on the same Wi Fi network, or it can be a wired network. So, Plex is one of my favorites, and uh, in a previous video, I showed how to install Plex on a Linux computer and actually how you can configure it and set it up uh, on different devices. So, I already did that, and if you want, you can first watch that video. Plex is extremely powerful, just make sure that you install the Plex media server and you have all your media here properly organized and uh, when we come to videos or movies for example here I uh, can see that it organizes your uh, content or your movies really well you can see it organizes them by uh, decade by director uh, by actor by country by content rating so if I just go by decade here and I just want to uh, what uh, 70s movies you can see it pulls up all the 70 uh, movies there so yeah this is a classic and when you press play it now just starts playing on your local network so you just have to make sure that your local wi-fi network is is fast enough you won't have any buffering issues whatsoever unlike uh, online sources or online streaming services that are very much internet dependent or are dependent on how fast your internet is uh, also make sure that the home media server that you use is uh, running at least when you want to watch or browse your movies i usually recommend you get like an old computer and you can install like plex or Kodi or jellyfin on it and just uh, set it up somewhere in your bedroom or garage or something and and, you know it's just running constantly 24 7 so that whenever you want to access your local media you can easily find it the smart tv immediately just connects to it so that is something to bear in mind if the home media server is not running then you won't be able to access your content and then also make sure that the home media server is running on the same network as your uh, smart tv so just make sure that they are running on the same Wi-Fi network, for example, so that it can automatically be detected on the network, right? So since this is a Plex media server, I can actually also just go to Plex here and I can still, you know, browse my local media. So here on the Plex app, definitely it has a much better UI because the media server that I'm using is the Plex media server. So we have compatibility here. Just get to uh, movies here yeah, and uh, I have my content already here, uh, well organized. All right, you have to know that if you're going to use Plex here to stream your local media on the Plex app, then you have to be using the Plex media server as your home media server, right? So if you installed Kodi, for example, and your personal media is running on Kodi, you can't really access your content through the Plex app, right? But you can access it through the Roku media app. So the Roku media player is sort of the universal way of accessing your content across home media servers uh, on, on your network. So this has been a tutorial on how you can access your personal media on a Roku Smart TV. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.